Who's Jesus that we must believe? In our previous devotion, it was entitled, A Man Like Us. It was about uh, Abraham. Paul was teaching to the Christians at Rome and also to us today. He was teaching about Abraham having faith. He had confidence. He trusted. He believed. That's real faith. He believed in God himself as his God. And he believed God. It's not like when some people say, oh yeah, I have faith in God, yeah, and then finished. No, Abraham knew that if God said something, he knew it was truth. He believed him. Fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. Question, do you have that kind of faith? Do I have that kind of faith? We should. That is what Paul wanted the Christians at Rome of long ago to understand. He wanted them to understand this, that they should, and that we should also. Well, why should we? Well, we as Christians are righteous in God's eyes. If we are righteous, then that means that we should have real faith. That is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness. God looked at Abraham's faith in him. What did he see it as? Righteousness. Abraham, he did not have the benefit of having the Bible that we have today. We know that Jesus is the Christ. Christ, what, what does that mean? Well, Christ means the Messiah. God's promised one that he sent to us. First, our faith in God, that same God that Abraham believed in. Secondly, our faith in Christ, the Christ that God promised he would send to us. Our faith in Christ is counted to us as righteousness. Well, wait a minute. Now, if we believe in God, we believe in Jesus. Well, really, they're the same. They are God. You believe in Christ, Jesus, the Messiah, he is there. You believe in God. Waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Abraham, he believed God. We should also believe Jesus. But the words it was counted to him were not written for his sake alone, but for ours also. Jesus he came to earth, was born, he grew up here. He finished the work, taking away the sins of the world. We need to believe him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. In that verse, it said whoever believes in him. If we believe in him, then we must believe him also. We should have full confidence in him, full confidence that he exists. First, that he is who he says he is, and second, that he does what he says he will do. Why must we have this all-encompassing faith? Why? Because Jesus is the Christ who the Father sent for us. Let's look. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Hmm. You know, your religion, your church, all the things that you believe, all the details that you feel are so important. Really, without Jesus, you're just not on the right path. You must trust that Jesus saved you. Believe him. He must. Quorum Dio. To live Quorum Dio is to live one's entire life in the presence of God, under the authority of God, to the glory of God.